My name's Adele and this is Gusto and we love the Blue Fang technology. Blue Fang is my phone talking to my dog and telling my dog what to do and what not to do. It controls the collar he's wearing. It's an application that you can download from the App Store and it connects with the collar and you can uh, change the dog's behavior like Gusto used to dig in my garden and he also used to bark at anybody who walked by the house. Stop. Gusto used to run up to anybody and just jump all over them. Strangers, kids, it was a dangerous situation. I mean, I love this dog to death, even if he has bad behavior sometimes, but the blue fang has helped us so much. Well, like I said, he's a very excitable dog and he loves to run out in the street. He loves to chase cars. One time he almost caught one, that would be the end of him, right? I love having the ability to have the power to, of using the app the story now is we're all happier, my neighbors, me and Gusta. He's not being berated constantly for jumping on people. He's not going to get hurt by get running out in the middle of the road. The strong stimulus I had to use for when he jumps on people. To me, jumping on a child at his size will hurt somebody. What happened? He learned the first time. I don't know what I'd do without it, actually. My name is Dory Sitterly. I'm a professional studio animal trainer. Some of the movies I've worked on are out of Africa, Sheena, Marmaduke, Beverly Hills Chihuahua 1, Beverly Hills Chihuahua 3. I've been training animals for 32 years. You know, products come and go. I think I'm going to be using this for a while. I'm excited about it. If I want to teach my dog that this sound means sit, I make that sound, I associate the sound Good. with the behavior, and eventually the dog learns that that tone means for it to sit. You know, if you just ignore a negative behavior, the dog's reward is doing that behavior. And if you keep letting it do it, it's rewarding itself every time it does the, the bad dog behavior. So this way, I can correct that behavior and never let the dog get that final reward. And I can do it in different increments um, and strengths, which I really like about the Blue Fang. I'm Bob Shilkin with High Tech Pet. I'm chief engineer. I've been in the electronic industry doing development for about 40 years with um, NASA and with uh, military, government, and now consumer products. In the last three years, I've been working on our Bluetooth Blue Fang product. The dog collar has uh, probes on the back, which you attach to the neck so that uh, he can feel the stimulus. And then we have an iPhone application that communicates with the dog. For training, you press a button, and uh, the dog receives the tone. What's nice about this is that it allows us to have the whole human interface on the phone rather than on the collar. So you don't have to be pressing little buttons and there isn't a screen to read there. You're doing it all here and you're doing it remotely because it can be up to 400 feet away. Yeah, that was a good girl. I'm Nick Bonji. I'm the president of High Tech Pet Products. This is Harrison, our vice president. And we've been in the business of making uh, high quality electronic pet care products for 30 years. The bark control feature is truly unique. It can distinguish between nuisance barking and the more rapid alarm intruder type of barking. And if you choose, you can allow your dog to bark at an intruder or an emergency. And yet, when you're away from home and he's barking just as a nuisance barker, the collar will correct the barking. What I like about the progressive technology is that it starts off very low with just a tone, not even a stimulus, then, then a very low stimulus, and then um, it's more of a, like a tickle that then generates into an annoyance and then if that doesn't work it finally gets to a large enough um, shock to actually fully get the dog's attention. To use the electronic fence you bury a wire around the perimeter of your yard. That wire sends out a radio signal. It's picked up by Harrison's blue fang collar. Uh, the collar will give the dog a corrective stimulus when he gets too close to the wire. We use corrective stimulus in the most humane way possible. So the shock that we use cannot hurt the dog's tissues or you know, cells or organs. It only stimulates nerve endings. I wouldn't use anything else. You just take your phone, you put the collar on the dog, and off you go. I'm very happy. I like the collar, too. I, I, like, uh, I like what it's made of. I like the lightweightness of it. This is the only thing I would recommend. I haven't seen anything else like it. I have friends who have literally spent hundreds of dollars on training their dog with professionals, and I get those same results with the Blue Fang Collar. 